Hey, what's up, guys? So, with this one, I unrooted the phone and brought it back to stock just so that I could show you guys how to root the ZTE Max using a laptop or a computer. So, um, one of the things you're going to want to download is Kingo Root. And you're going to need a USB cable, which I didn't get to show you this part, but once you connect your ZTE Max to your computer for the first time, it's going to give you an option to install drivers. So, you want to do that before you start any of this. Uh, once that's done, go ahead and launch the Kingo app. And as you guys can see, it's going to begin connecting. So we'll just wait for it until it shows connection. And once that's done, then it's as simple as just clicking the root button. So here we go. You guys can see on the screen it says root, uh, well, USB connected. So click root and just let Kingo do its thing. And even though it says that it's waiting for, for device, uh, it's waiting for communication with the device, but uh, don't worry. As long as you install the drivers correctly, which is simple, you should have no problems whatsoever at this point. So it's going to go through a lot of stuff. You know, just uh, basically setting up to root your device. And this part is going to take at least a good three minutes. Just about. So, um, while we're waiting for that. Yeah, so I figured, you know, I'd show you guys two ways of rooting it. Uh, without PC, there is sometimes maybe a glitch with it. It seems like it does like a temporary root and then root goes away and sometimes SuperSU with it kind of messes up because I did have that problem just a while ago. Uh, but for the most part, without PC, it should work okay. Sometimes you'll just have that glitch where it's like a temporary root. And if that happens, just do a full unroot and redo again. Uh, but for me, the PC version is more reliable. Sorry about the vape, guys. But the PC version is more reliable, it's going to get it done, and it automatically puts in Super SU from the get-go. It doesn't use that, uh, that King Root app, which is also another root source or whatever. So there you go. Root succeeded. And your device should start rebooting. Uh, once my device reboots, then we'll go back to root checker and we'll see what we got. <clears throat> I'm going to disconnect the USB cable here. And Android is upgrading, so we'll let that go through. It's not actually updating Android for those who don't know. It's just uh, another app was installed, so it's kind of like updating the system to include that app. Uh, there's Super SU down there. Okay, so let's uh, go to Root Checker here and see what we got. Now, one thing you're going to want to do here, and, and this is something that kind of freaked me out when I was doing this, but one thing you want to do right here is allow time for your phone to boot. I actually did this way too early. As you guys can see, SuperSU came up after I had checked for root, so then it said that there was no root. But there is, in fact, root. So let me go show you guys here real quick. So I did grant it super user permissions. Let me close out the app, and let's do it one more time. And you guys will see that it does have root. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this tutorial, go ahead and give me that... Uh, that thumbs up because it does really help me out and uh, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you have not subscribed and I'll see you guys next time